Standard versus Hybrid Initialization in ANSI's Fluent Imagine you're about to start a simulation in ANSI's Fluent. Before the solver can begin calculating the flow, it needs an initial guess for things like pressure, velocity, and temperature across the entire domain. This is where initialization comes in. ANSI's Fluent offers two main ways to do this, standard initialization and hybrid initialization. Let's break them down in simple terms. Standard initialization. Think of standard initialization like painting a blank canvas with a single color. You manually set the initial values for pressure, velocity, and temperature, and Fluent applies these values uniformly everywhere in the domain. For example, if you set the initial velocity to 5 ms, every point in the domain will start with that same value. This method is simple and works well for basic problems where the flow is expected to be fairly uniform. However, if your problem is more complex like a flow with recirculation or strong gradients, this uniform guess might not be very accurate. As a result, the solver might take longer to find the correct solution because it's starting from a rough estimate. Hybrid initialization. Now imagine hybrid initialization as a smarter way to paint that canvas. Instead of using a single color everywhere, Fluent looks at your geometry and boundary conditions and tries to predict a more realistic starting point. It solves a simplified version of the equations to estimate how pressure, velocity, and temperature might vary across the domain. This method is especially useful for complex problems where the flow isn't uniform. For example, if you're simulating airflow around a car or heat transfer in a heat exchanger, hybrid initialization can give the solver a much better starting point. This often leads to faster convergence and fewer headaches. Which one should you use? If your problem is simple and you have a good idea of what the initial conditions should be, standard initialization is quick and easy to use. But if your problem is more complex or you're not sure about the initial conditions, hybrid initialization is the way to go. It does a bit more work up front to give the solver a better starting point, which can save you time in the long run. Think of initialization like setting the stage for a play. If the stage is set well, the performance will run smoothly. Standard initialization is like setting the stage with basic props, while hybrid initialization is like adding detailed scenery and lighting to make everything look more realistic. Choosing the right method depends on how complex your simulation is and how much you already know about the flow field. By understanding these two methods, you can make smarter choices and get your ANSI's fluent simulations off to a great start.